I did go through a period of my life, I think it was after I finished doing music, I, I did go through a phase of thinking, right, I've really got to kind of think about what I want to do for the rest of my life. It was, it was you know, most people these days, youngsters don't know what they want to do. Some people when they're 40 don't even know what they want to do for the rest of their life. But I think when I realised I was becoming quite, still, I'm still learning as an artist anyway, but like when I realised I, I was onto something, I thought then that was something that I would like to do for the rest of my life. It was, and it, it kind of happened naturally. It wasn't like, you know, like I said, you didn't go to university and then, you know, linked onto a job. I didn't, you know, I didn't get a job. It was just something that I just worked really hard to get where I am now today. I had the original illustration which I did, um, sketched out. Then I took it into Photoshop, played with the colours, played with the shapes, um, and basically the. The Wales Millennium Centre contacted me to ask whether I'd be interested in doing something in my style that could tie the um, the car park to the Wales Millennium Centre and Cardiff Bay. So um, I had like four different ideas, like what was park and ride, and then the Welsh, and then there was um, roll your way down Cardiff Bay, which was like wheels, and then there was a bike, and um, I was going to have maybe say stars go around the legs. Or I was going to have like stitching, like I usually do with other of my illustrations. Or um, was it going to have boots on the, the bottom of the shoes? Was it going to be a wavy kind of line? But then, because I want to have it just like a nice flow, it's kind of I just stuck with those kind of just solid, solid lines. So um, yeah, I think you know I could have put like car doors on the shoe and shit like that. But it's kind of you understand that it's it's, it's like a roller skate or it could be a car. Or it's, Feet, you know, but I really look too much into it. learned with colours, especially, especially when it came to an escape board. Because of costs, um, when I did that power board, I think, let's look at this, it was black, red, cream and yellow. So I had to work with four colours. So when you're limited to, to, to colours because of cost, I've kind of stuck with that kind of idea. Like I don't put loads of different colour in my work. I don't want to look too busy, I'd like it just to look quite sharp, like a thick black line. And then I've been using a lot of like blues, like house pink blues, like royal blues. Um, and then I, I contrast that then with like a fluorescent red or a fluorescent orange. So they, it kind of, you know, I want it to look big and bright and kind of stand out. So if it's a drawing painted that big or it's drawing the same size as the wall, I want it to look quite vibrant from a distance. So yeah, I think. I think skateboarding being like an alternative sport has always had an influence on art. I've always been into like skateboard art. I've always followed the sport. I've, I did it from a young age. I'm obviously not skateboarding as much as I used to these days just because I'm too busy painting or, you know, but I, it's one of those things I always follow. I, love, I, like, I like the independent feel to it. I like um, everything that's associated with it really um, as, a, as a, you know, a way of, you know, getting about and, you know, um, so that kind of crosses over with my kind of humour and this kind of illustrations I've done. Also I've done um, artwork that's been on skateboard graphics so it's kind of from there then I've kind of worked on my illustrations outside of that. Because I don't usually work with a lot of colours apart from like a lot of stuff in black and white or um, I've always been a fan, I've always loved blue as a colour. Um, and then you can always find a colour like, like a fluorescent red or fluorescent orange which will complement that colour really, really well. And it's the same with 
once you put the orange and the blue together and then you put a thick black outline around it, that's when it kind of sets off the actual illustration. I can, as I said, I can get up in the morning, I can be drawing all, all day and then drawing all night, but then there might be some days where I haven't really got any ideas, so, you know, I kind of look for inspiration, like go for a walk, go for a cycle, go for a run, um, read a book or, you know, read or look, look on the internet, you know, that kind of stuff. But then I could be out somewhere, I could see something, so I'd, um, I'd keep a notebook on me and, and think of ideas. Like, that's one of those things where I just constantly, I'll write something down and I can always go back to it to work on it as an illustration. So, you know what I mean? I might see something funny when I'm walking down the street and I think, I've got to remember that, I can use that, that would work on something. It's that kind of, that's why I'm, I'm, uh, I'm never switching off from work, it's constantly, you know, 